Good evening. You're watching 6 p.m. Prime. I'm Akshita Nandakopal. And this evening, we're going to be talking about an iconic name change. The Rajpath, where we've seen so many Republic Day parades, has been renamed very fittingly as the Kartavya Path, the ra road and ra uh, path of duty. We're going to be talking about the symbolism, the significance of that particular move over the next 30 minutes. Let's begin this evening with the headlines. No respite for Bengaluru for the second consecutive day. IT hub completely flooded. Techies and CEOs evacuated on tractors. Political blame game erupts. 23-year-old Bengaluru resident Akila killed after being electrocuted in flooded Bengaluru. Father blames negligence by officials and waterlogging. NIA charge sheet in Dakshina Kannada Bajrang Dal worker Harsha murder case acts as probe agency says hatred against Hindus, hijab rao and cow protection prompted Islamists to kill saffron worker. Massive multi-city ED raids in liquor gate scam. Multiple locations in Delhi raided. Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia cries witch hunt again. Liz Truss is officially UK Prime Minister after Queen formally appoints her at Balmoral. And India take on Sri Lanka in their second game of the Super Bowl stage after loss to Pakistan must win game for Team India to keep final hopes alive. Our top focus at 6 p.m. prime this evening, the iconic three-kilometer stretch in Delhi called Rajpath has now been rechristened. It's where we've seen countless Republic Day parades as well happening. We're all, of course, very familiar with this particular stretch that connects India Gate to Rashtrapati Bhavan. And now it's been renamed. Why? Well, Rajpath literally translates to Kingsway. That's what it was called pre-independence by the British. And this reminder of the British Raj has now been wiped away. What you see behind me is what the new Rajpath, the new Kartavya Path, looks like as part of the Central Vista project. And the Modi government has said, we're going to do away with all of these reminders of British Raj. And that will in the heart of the national capital. Let's get you all the details in our report first. Charting a new path. A landscape of state symbols and of legacies of the British Raj is set to undergo an identity overhaul. A desh bade sankalp le karke hi chalega. Kisi bhi kone mein hamare man ke bhitar, hamare aadaton ke bhitar. गुलामी का एक भी अंश अगर भी अभी भी है तो उसको किसी भी हालत में बचने नहीं देना इन लाइन विद इट्स रिजोल्व द मोदी गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू रीनेम राजपथ इन सेंट्रल दिल्ली एज कर्तव्य पथ द स्ट्रेच विद इट्स मैनिक्योर्ड लॉन्स ऑन इधर साइड public space for the annual January 26th parade. A wide ceremonial boulevard will take the last traces of the Raj legacy of its pedestal. The move comes ahead of the inauguration of the brand new Central Vista by the Prime Minister scheduled for Thursday. The revamped avenue takes into its fold the new Kartavya Path running from the Rashtrapati Bhavan on the Raisina Hills through the Vijay Chowk and India Gate. Before it was named Rajpath post-independence, the stretch was called Kingsway in honour of King George V, the British monarch who visited Delhi in 1911. 
for the Modi government, the name change rises above symbolism. Its message to the ruling class is loud and clear. The era of Rajas and Praja, rulers and subjects, is over. Earlier, the name of the street on which the Prime Minister's residence is located was changed from the racecourse road to Lok Kalyan Mark. On Friday, the Prime Minister unveiled the Indian Navy's new ensign, St. George's Cross, dropped from the new emblem. The Royal Seal of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj incorporated. आज से भारतीय नौसेना को एक नया ध्वज मिला है अब तक भारतीय नौसेना के ध्वज पर गुलामी की पहचान बनी हुई थी लेकिन अब आज से छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज से प्रेरित नौसेना का नया ध्वज समंदर और आसमान में लहराएगा ऑपोजिशन विच हैड स्लैम्ड द सेंट्रल विस्टा प्रोजेक्ट अटैक द नेम चेंज टीएमसी महुआ मोहित्रा सेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स रेसिडेंस शुड बी रीनेम्ड किंग कर्तव्य विमूड मठ विच ट्रांसलेट्स इन टू सम वन हु इज क्लूलेस एंड इनडिसाइसिव वाइल कांग्रेस कॉल्ड इट एन अटेम्प्ट टू डाइवर्ट अटेंशन फ्रॉम कोर इश्यूज मोदी जी का ये खिलौना है ध्यान हटाने का खेल खेलते रहते हैं मैं उनसे कहना चाहता हूं अरे दम है तो एक बढ़िया बनाओ उसका नाम रख दो तो कर्तव्य पथ कर्तव्य कहां से फिटन हो रहा है मुझे बता दे और कर्तव्य पथ को अगर वो जस्टिफाई करते हैं तो एक कर्तव्य पथ के लिए नई चीज बना उसका नामकरण करें जनपथ और राजपथ दोनों का सामंजस्य उसे छेड़कर मोदी जी अपनी अकर्मण्यता असफलता को स्वीकार कर द मोदी गवर्नमेंट आइडिया ऑफ इंडियननेस बाय इंडियंस टेक्स अ जॉइंट लीप फॉरवर्ड बट रीनेमिंग इट हैज टर्न इट इन टू अ पोलिटिकल फाइट ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे And joining me this evening on 6 p.m. Prime is Anuj Dhar, historian. Anuj, good evening. Uh, also, for our viewers, I'd just like to also put it out there that just before the announcement was made, Anuj on social media had actually led a campaign saying, "Let's rename Rajput." So, I want to begin, Anuj, by understanding why. Why did you believe the time has come to rename Rajput? No, I think better than late than never because the time I thought is like it come many many years ago. so we are happy and delighted that the demand has been accepted because for for a very long time you know i think we need to go back to the uh, since you know uh, king george's uh, name is now written, written all over you know the the main uh, road of our, our country rajpath that used to be hmm. now the whole story i would say started back in 65ish 65 and we had the king george's statue on the king's day and uh, even though after independence there were demands to have the name change and uh, Uh, Kingsway was re uh, renamed as Rajput, which is literal translation of Kingsway. King means George George VI, and we had George VI statue on the Rajput next to the India Gate. So the government of India had no intention to, you know, you know, change the name or even even to remove the statue of King George. So the, the the statue of King George was there till 65. It was only after when some followers of Nita Ji protested, and they went up, they smeared tar on the face of the King statue, and you know. destroyed certain parts of it it's only then that the government woke up and decided that the statue should be removed and that started yeah. the chain which the reaction and i think we are today seeing that there have been one after another three big developments have taken place we have a navy flag which is indian which does not have uh, st george's cross mm -hmm. we have uh, our main road the main uh, boulevard of our country which is now has a indian name not not name out of the, the king george 6 and also we have you know the, uh, the the statue of king george is gone so and we will be having netaji statue for tomorrow so that's that's fantastic and it's better later than but this should have happened let's say 50 50, 50 60 years ago so then uh, we are happy it's happening today but uh, anuj to you know use a very cliche question what's in the name uh, and i'm sure a lot of indians the common man the aam aadmi will be saying you know what was the big deal was there a need to make this kind of a change for so many years we've known it as rajput Did the symbolism really matter? 
it does does matter in certain cases of course you know you cannot have you know we have uh, to those who are asking these questions they should ask first themselves what was the need to change the name of connaught place connaught place was built on a barren piece of land it was a commercial center it is nothing to do with british raj and they suddenly one fine morning they said we want to change it after rajiv gandhi's name so let's not get into that that area because we have uh, uh, so many names changed the name of queens way was also changed so why 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 queens way was changed to you know janpat hmm. so this has been a long standing process people you know the government has been you know making changes since uh, 40 47 but then this was the most important road of our country you know it is such a shame that we should be having the statue of king george in the heart of our city and we should be having in the main road named after this particular king so the reality perhaps also is anuj that many didn't know the history behind the name uh, rajpath because we were never many... taught exactly. we were never taught we are still not taught that what we got in 1947 was that was transfer of power it was on independence people are still not aware of the basic fact of history that until 1958 the chief of our navy was a british was a british person officer the chief of the indian air force was a british till 55 subodh mukherjee was the first indian to become the first indian chief so there are lot many questions about transfer of power which have not been answered so i just hope and pray this is the starting point and the time has come there are certain issues which should have been thrashed out in fact they were thrashed out but we didn't have media as formidable as it, it is today we didn't have social media so this discussion could not take place and there is a question of india becoming part of commonwealth which was opposed by people of this country today these papers concerning india's joining commonwealth have disappeared you know that brings me to my next question anuj of why it's taken so long uh, who wants to at the end of the day protect the so called legacy of british raj nobody does no no people are supporting big time i mean people beginning 1946 47 people are very much like when if you talk in terms of the elite class and the ruling class they were always in support of the british raj they the main aim of their lives uh, back in those days was to settle their families in vilayat so they were supporting and backing they were not fighting for country freedom and all these bureaucrats who were serving the british raj without any hiccups they became the 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 new really english in the, in, the, in our country so nobody bothered people were asking and these people were never concerned about it's only now that uh, maybe the government this government is paying some attention but the demand was old people wanted uh, you know uh, this statue to be removed There are many, many naysayers to this name change. Also, I'm sure you've seen the reactions on social media, Anuj. There are many naysayers overall to the Central Vista project as well. What's your, you know, statement? What's your message to them? You know, my message is that we should have like the certain places where you have to have a change. I, I am not in favor of removing all the vestiges of uh, you know colonial era. I mean, of course, I am not suggesting you remove the India Gate because it does not. It is not about my my people. It's about the people who serve the British Raj. Hmm. This, it should remain there, but then there are certain areas. We talk about symbolism. This is yeah. the heart of India's power. This is our, the seat of our democracy. How but can I, we, after seven hundred fifty years of independence, you know, retain I'm those? I'm sorry to interject, areas? but just as a follow-up, Anuj, if you could answer that, as a historian, uh, when there are claims that you know there are attempts to erase history, that whether we like it or not, this was a part of our history. Well, well, in that case, I mean, we have, I mean, uh, you know, the the to, to, how can I, in this age and time, justify that we should have George's cross in our navy flag? Hmm. How can it be justified? Just because Lord Mountbatten ordered us in 47, we should retain this in such a way, and we are still till date we are obeying the Mountbatten's order. And this question should be asked to those who, when Connaught Place's name was changed to, uh, you know, uh, uh, Rajiv Chowk, where were these people? We have such a wonderful thing. We follow the British pattern in England. The name of the airport is Heathrow Airport because the name of the village is Heathrow, where the airport was built. So we had a fantastic name, Palam Airport. Why have you named it after Indira Gandhi? If you have to want to follow something, follow properly. We are following the British norms in every which way. So then, might as well, you know, drop the names of all these airports after all these people. Let's go back to the Palam Airport days. Let's go back to the Connaught Place era. But then, you know, you, on one hand, you are demanding that Connaught Place's name should be changed to Rajiv Gandhi, Rajiv Chowk, and then you are having this problem, and we are only removing the name of the king. Nobody else. Okay, your message is clear then that you are saying that they can't be selective. In outraging over some name you changes, you cannot choose. Agree. You know, you have to very clear. There are certain things that it, it hurts my ego. It hurts my my national sense of national pride. Hmm. Why should my country should have a a foreigner as a head of India's uh, military, like Air Force and Navy, after 55? Why should my intelligence bureau be reporting to England until 68? There are multiple questions. This is just the starting. 
You made, you made a very, very fair point, Anuj, and I'm sure it opens up also a much, much larger debate. Thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us this evening here on India Today. Historian Anuj Dhar, who had also put out on social media saying the time is now to change and rename Rajpath. His wish has been fulfilled, as have many, many Indians, as the government has now said it will be called Kartavyapath. Let's get you and round up all the updates coming in from the national capital. Trouble clearly mounting for Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia in the Delhi Liquor Gate. The Enforcement Directorate now has also stepped into the investigation, conducting searches at 35 locations in the national capital and elsewhere in connection with this excise policy case. It's as always started off a political fight with Sisodia slamming the BJP and calling the raids an attempt to stop Kejriwal. First, it was CBI and now the Enforcement Directorate. The probe into the alleged liquor gate scam continues to haunt Delhi's Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. The central agency conducted raids at over 30 locations across Gurugram, Lucknow, Hyderabad, Mumbai and Bengaluru. Sisodia came down heavily on the BJP calling the raids an attempt to stop Arvind Kejriwal's work. First, they hit CBI. They didn't get out of it. Now, they will hit CBI. They will hit CBI. They will hit CBI. They will hit CBI. The whole thing is that 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 Arvind Kejriwal is working on the whole thing. They will stop it. They will stop it. They will stop it. But they will not stop it. They will use CBI. They will use ED. They will use everything. They will use it. The Aam Admi Party has rallied behind Sisodia. Sisodia ke ghar pehle bhi kuch nahi mila, aage bhi kuch nahi milega. Ek nahi ek hajar jaanch kara lo, ek nahi ek hajar jaanch agencyya laga lo, jitni taqat tumhare paas se baaj paiyo laga ke dekh lo. The BJP hit back. It staged a march to Sisodia's residence. वो शराब माफिया के साथ मिलकर उन्होंने दिल्ली के जनता के हक को छीना है दिल्ली के युवाओं को नशे की ओर झोंका है और साथ ही साथ हर गली मोहल्ले के नुक्कड़ पर शराब के ठेके खोलकर शराब माफिया के कमीशन को दो परसेंट से बारह परसेंट किया गया क्योंकि छह परसेंट पैसा उनको ब्लैक में सरकार को आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं को देना था The ED rates come a day after Sisodia alleged a CBI lawyer had committed suicide after pressure was applied on him to implicate the Delhi's deputy chief minister. CBI के जिस अधिकारी ने सुसाइड किया है, उनके ऊपर गलत तरीके से दबाव बनाया जा रहा था कि मेरे खिलाफ इल्लीगल तरीके से फर्जी तरीके से केस बनाके मेरे अरेस्ट को मंजूरी दें जिसको वो मंजूरी नहीं दे रहे थे. Earlier, the BJP released a video of liquor gate that shows a liquor license holder's father, Kulvinder Marwa, allegedly admitting to paying bribes to Ahmadmi Party. The war between BJP and Ahmadmi Party over excise duty is escalating. The question in political corridors is, will all this sound and fury led to Sisodia's arrest as feared by Ahmadmi Party? Bureau Report, India Today. That's all we have time for in this edition of 6 p.m. Prime. Thank you very much for joining us here on India Today.